looking for mines. Just in case where you... Ooh, threatening snapper. Where you dig shit up. Well, that didn't take long. Hey, Mora! It's a good thing you came. I have something for you to do. What sort of mine is this? Only a Mora could ask such a dumb question. Take a whiff with that ugly beak of yours. Sulfur. Then you'll know what sort of mine this is. A sulfur mine, of course. What are you doing here? I make sure that the Moras work and that the mine operates. The beasts have been lurking outside the sulfur mine for days. Find a way of getting rid of them. Got it? Teach me something about being a smith. Oh. Mining. Smithing. I'll take care of the snappers. Yes, get rid of them, but quickly. They make me nervous. Smithing, really. Forge ore weapons. Forge weapons from pure ore. Prospector. Twice as effective. Pawn blade. More damage. Prove armor. Resists an armor bonus to on all armor. Okay. Let's see if we can just pick up the local sulfur like it's nothing. That's the mission for the shaman, then. Well, that was easy. Yeah, more sulfur. Might as well take advantage of the situation. Probably aren't gonna need extra sulfur for some time thanks to this. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing all your work. Let's target the one. Unnamed slaves and sulfur. <sighs> Why is it so hard to pick? Targeting. Not good in this game.
Pretty much it, I guess. Well, that meets all our sulfur needs, I guess. How much did we get anyway? 17 lumps of sulfur, 22 sulfur. But yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay, let's see how we can deal with the snappers with our skeleton decoy. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Um. Can you do combinations? No, that sucks. Well, it wasn't exactly the, uh, something I expected that you could be able to. Still. That sucks. I don't expect the skeleton to be all that more, much more better. What it does have is a better weapon. It might do more damage. I uh, still, so, yeah. I'm not calling them decoys for nothing. Basically, just keeping me alive a little bit better. I think we have power to handle these, but whatever. Where the fuck are you aiming? Wow, it's uh, it's writing two heavy attacks. It's not really hitting anything. I really need is it to take one of those uh, off my ass. Can't be a decoy unless you're doing decoy work. Try to try not to die. Crap. <sighs> yeah, the skeleton is totally inadequate. Bah! Even more of the annoying beasts. Hello. Well 
Yeah, he's having some kind of seizure. Well, if nothing else, I think we have enough to 50 pieces of raw meat now. Uh, 46 or 48. I don't know. Still not there. Ooh, there's quite a few of them still left. Mm, we're going with pure damage. It's not... It's not enough that they get distracted. I, I need to play them out of the fight. There's still more of them left. Has to be, they'll say a quest didn't complete, or uh, alternatively, uh, I would have needed to kill all of the snappers, which means don't let the uh, town defenses handle any of them. That seems silly. As far as I can see, that's all the snappers though, so I'll report to him. See if that truly is all of them. Could also wrap up the stone root quest. Yeah, one more missing. There it is. Oh, it's not alone, so that's a bit of a bigger problem. Let's run. It doesn't particularly matter if it follows us or not. Quick race, quick wrap up. We have the meat. We should have the meat. Yeah, we have the meat. It's important of that to have the meat. I'd like to finish that quest immediately after we get it, simply because I have a use for the meat myself, and as long as I, I need to save 50 portions of it, there's, a, there's no convenient way for me to keep uh, grilling my own.
But yeah, I think we'll kill these, report that, get the sulfur back, and then wrap up the druid and the meat quest. The druid, I mean the shaman here will probably want to give us another tag. Yeah. We need to make more mana potions. As long as I have the, the less than ten, I'm sort of reluctant to keep using them. Uh, so, I think we should try to keep the mana potion number as high as possible. It will also remind me of uh, what ingredients keep picking up. We can't do anything with... Uh, what was it? Magic roots. We have 44. No, it wasn't... It was mana plants. We have 28 and we need 50 of those. Magic root is something we can't. The snapper threat has been averted. Then I can sleep peacefully again. Take this as a reward. A heap of stinking yellow lumps of sulfur. Well, is that not enough for you? Nine lumps of sulfur and 1,000 experience. Well, I have to say... Place met our sulfur needs quite quite nicely. Okay, let's start with the quest wrapping up. Going back to the druids can take a little bit of walking. I guess that's about it. It's early morning, so we should be able to be okay if we just snooze to the afternoon. I'm hoping working directly for the orcs will give us a lot a larger reputation boost here. Here you are. Five lumps of sulfur. Good. Here's a healing potion for you. And now scram, I'm busy. Busy. It basically gave us nothing. Two points of reputation. You'll have to move along. Shitty rewards for shitty jobs. Deliver to meat. Here, is this enough meat? Yes, well, it'll be enough for now. Here's some gold. And now get yourself out of here. 1000 gold, 1500 experience. Level up. 31 learning points. Yeah, we should probably start doing something with those. More mana can never hurt, really. And we don't particularly have any spells. We want to get 
ancient knowledge is always good, but there's we're also getting quite a lot of it from uh, just the ancient artifact we're picking up. So I, I, I don't see that being a great place to put our points now. Now we need mana, much more valuable. So where are the druids? Somewhere south, of, south east of Trail. Trellis. I wonder if I should side with the rangers though. They're fairly annoying as are our old druids, but yeah, I guess it a lot will depend on my chat Sardas when we finally get our hands on him. Beliar. Grant me magic power. So, now we have 332 minutes. Never have too much mana. Again, another significant boost. So it should matter. We also need more meat. Definitely more meat. Ah, oh, it's loading. Snakes. Some kind of beasts. Apparently some kind of ruin here. Oh shit. Yeah, our lightning bolt is quite a bit more powerful. Even a non-charged lightning bolt took well over 50% of damage from the goblin. Assuming it wasn't a lucky hit. Normally it wouldn't take nearly as much. Yeah, whatever that is. It's shown on the map, but it's not a... Not a... a, a quite clear what it is. It's a house, but why is it shown on the map? Typically houses are not shown. It's not a house, it's a, it's a ruin. It sort of looks like a farmhouse when I looked it from afar. Warriors. It's an excavation site. <sighs> okay, I'll uh, finish my thingy with the druids and I think we're going to come back here. Ancient knowledge, maybe an artifact. And we've been beefed up quite a bit recently, so we might even have the capabilities of surviving that. Rebel. Rebel base. So aren't you conveniently everywhere? Okay, to loot these. Are you serious? Oh, 
think of it. Central in the middle of our ruin. They've been okay pretty much with me meddling in everything. As long as it happens outside the base, naturally. I'm sort of secretly hoping for a uh, runestone. I don't think we are get it. Uh, mm, I think the runestone network basically is this, this network. So, Okara Rebel Camp will also have it. Not one step further. Sure, why not? Keep calm, kid. I won't hurt you. You haven't Shut come to make trouble, have you? Shut up. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead now. Uh, all right. Then forget I said anything. Never mind. Tell me what's going on up here. This is a rebel camp. I am a rebel, and fight for the king. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you serious? What do you do here all day long? I make sure no one sneaks into the camp. Doing a great job, obviously. It's not that easy, you know. Especially not with all the beasts in the area. But what scares me the most is the undead in the cave over there. I don't want to know what they do to someone they got their hands on. Oh, I could tell you a thing or two about that. I could clean out the undead cave for you. You'd really have the guts to go into a cave full of undead. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. If you manage that, I'll give you 300 gold coins, all right? I'll think about it. Yeah, the gold coins won't even recover. Probably cover a single use of a mana potion. Uh. And? Killed any orcs? I haven't been in any battles yet, but I'm looking forward to taking out my first orc. Why do I want to be so confrontational with this piece of crap? Just let him be... Okay, is that an orc? Uh, okay, who is that? Why can't I target the orcs? That's a rebel camp, all right. You're stealing! Oh my god, he did. Too late. You screwed it up. You had one goddamn job to do and you screwed it up. Basically, try to be cheap with the killing spell. That's what's up. Uh... Yeah, making me dirty. I'll chop you to pieces. I'll tear you apart. Why aren't I hitting? Weapons they're using are worth something. I think this bastard had a bow. So arrows are always welcome. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, could I actually take a little bit of a rest in your little base here? Surely Steve isn't the leader of this horrible place. There you are. Finally. I thought you wouldn't be coming back. Have we met? You're not the messenger from Nomura? Damn. I have to know if Nomura still stands. So far, I've heard nothing about Nomura being destroyed. Then you'll have to tell their leader that we're pinned down here. Nomura needs to send reinforcements. Quickly. What are you doing in this cave? We were overrun by the orcs when we tried to secure the Temple of Trellis. They're obsessed with searching for divine artifacts. They came with about 30 warriors. All we could do was flee here. What is so important about the temple? Every artifact that the orcs recover can be used against us. The excavations at the temple must be stopped. Someone has to prevent the orcs in and around the Temple of Trellis from digging. You mean kill them? How else? They don't understand any other language. What do you know about the divine artifacts? The orcs have taken everything they could recover from the temple to Trellis. If one of those rare artifacts was indeed in the temple, then it's bound to be in Trellis now. I see. Might not be true. We certainly have to find out. I cannot create anything at the moment. No recipes. Uh... This is the only thing you have to have here. Ah. Beds so soft you sink into them. Okay, true it, true it, true it, true it, true it. Well, it's a good thing we discovered this though. So. Undead cave and everything. Temple. Where's the undead cave? Hmm, probably there. Okay, this should lead to the road, which should be very close where we want to go. Yeah, been here before. Wild boar. Hello, wild boar. And the fully charged attack seems to have a homing capability. They always hit. They're also stronger, but you don't have time to use them in close quarter combat. It's not a bad system. These guys have a bed. Yes, they do. Here, your stone roots. Good work, wanderer. Now I can recharge the druid stone for the service you have done me. I will share my power with you. Take my druid stone and keep it better than I could.
Transform, summon animal, tame, sleep. Telekinesis. Teach me the highest knowledge of the druids. What exactly does that Yeah, you probably get the druid specialty. Double the duration of transformations. So, nothing special. Ah. How exactly does this druid transformation work? Reaper Beast. With this stone, the hero can transform into Reaper Beast. I think it's basically a spell. For 30 mana, I can turn myself into a Reaper Beast. I that's I think that's sort of an interesting system. Uh, I mean, multiple different uh, magic systems mixed in, so you can. The innate magic is the only thing you have to spend learning points on. Other magical ways are available to it. In no way is sufficient to overcome the, the other though, which uh, again is a good thing, but uh, I was thinking more in a way that it can't negate the negative of having to spend your learning points on spells, because in, in every... <laughs> it without a doubt leads to the result that people only focus on a couple of spells. Uh, at least uh, for the most of the game. Uh, even if they don't want to, they do it because it makes the most sense. You you don't. In order for us to really test these spells, that's like five points per spell. So you can level, 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 level. Yeah, you're talking about half a dozen levels per spell list. Just to test them out, if you did. so, no one's going to throw away that many level ups just for the sake of it. So they'll have one direct damage da damage spell. That's what it goes without saying. Mm, Rest is probably a lot more complicated. Probably a summoning spell of a sort, and then some kind of massive damage spell. I mean, area of effect damage spell. By the way, so undead or the temple? Probably both. Not sure what I'm going to do with the temple. Uh, if it has no artifacts, I'm I, I'm not sure I want to assault it at the moment. So first, at least we'll go in explore and see what we can find. 